All right, the weekend is here. Many of you have plans outdoors. I want to caution you tomorrow afternoon. Uh, please try to be somewhere safe. You want to be weather aware of what's coming our way. Nothing showing up on live Super Doppler 4 HD right now, but you notice the red beam, the red icon at the top. That's alert mode. You don't see that often here at WIFF News 4, but when you do, just know that severe weather is possible. In this case, it's tomorrow afternoon. We're in that third category of risks, which means damaging winds, even hail possible in this activity here. It's all from this low pressure system that's very strong up toward the Midwest. Typically, this time of year, those systems move from west to east. It's the severe weather season for the Canadian border. Here at home, though, this system is going to move toward the southeast, which is typical for what you would see in March or April. So we're getting an atypical uh, severe threat across our area, and it all unfolds tomorrow. Check it out. Little spokes of energy around that low pressure system move our way. The first one is not as concerning. It's moving into drier air, and the mountains kind of break it up into the overnight hours. We could have a couple of claps of thunder along the Tennessee border, but that's about it. As we go through tomorrow morning, we'll see some showers and storms here and there. Depending on how much rain we get and whether it stays cloudy into the mid-morning hours, will determine the severity of our storms later in the day. If we see more sunshine, our risk is higher for some of those stronger storms. So the weather headlines look like this. Stormy on Saturday, the severe threat really with us between that 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. hour. Uh, but really, it could arrive even earlier than that, 1, 2 o'clock. So just keep in mind that that's our target time frame. Just be weather aware right before that as well. It'll really depend on that morning sunshine. The less sun we get, the better off we are. The more, the more unstable we are outside. But the persistent clouds and rain, well, that remains in the forecast well into next week. Right now we're at 86 degrees in Greenville, somewhat drier outside. That's helping us out tonight, so no concerns for the strongest of the storms. We could have some rain and a couple of claps of thunder, but it's tomorrow afternoon that the atmosphere is the most volatile. 64 the low in Asheville. For tomorrow, we're in that alert mode between 1 o'clock and 7 o'clock as temperatures rise into the middle 80s. We have plenty of fuel for those thunderstorms, and that thunderstorm chance at about 80 percent. The wind and hail threat the greatest, and folks, that hail threat threat is pretty atypical for April or May. We got a lot of warm air at the surface. It's hard to get hail this time of the year, but with the cold air aloft tomorrow, some of those hailstones will be very, very large. Can't rule out an isolated tornado, but that threat is on the lower side as well as flooding. Tomorrow's pretty much our severe threat. After that, you can't rule out a strong storm, but for the most part, it's all about the rain and a lot of it. The latest computer models painting anywhere from three to six inches over the next week. So check it out. Come to your TV if you haven't seen this yet. The four day looks like this. An 80% chance of strong storms tomorrow. We're in that alert category. Beyond that, a 70% chance of rain each and every day. There will be some sunshine here and there, but it will be more cloudy than it will be sunny and we'll have a lot more rain than dry times.